am a creature of habit. What can I say? It's easy to get into a rut after eons of human interaction. But Haley has proven to be a difficult nut to crack, and as such I had no choice but to try a different tactic. So while the Awakens relaxed in the lounge, I took a step back to do some behind-the-scenes work. <sighs> Unfortunately, Thorin was being less than patient about the whole matter. Hello there, Haley. Uh, oh. Hey, uh, no, what are you God. drawing? I, are you drawing? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm drawing. Oh, look! You have little people. Did you mute the audio? Did you mute the freaking audio? Oh my God! We were having such a, a lovely conversation during this part about how Haley's recharging her switch and so she's making little little uh, clothing designs for all the awakened and Valencia was like, Oh, that's really beautiful! And Haley's like, Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't, uh, don't have that much skill because my self-esteem is down the shitter. And then Percy's like, Well, I don't know about that, Miss Wong. Looks pretty good to me. It's a lovely scene, and you muted it! Turn that shit back on right now, or so help me! Might not look the part, but I'm a, I'm a real fashion buff. Oh, I believe you. Let's see. Oh, is that one me? <laughs> yeah, I look yeah, gorgeous. You. <laughs> Glad you think so. You have quite a talent for art. Oh, shucks. Yeah, um... And that one's Junior. Oh wait, I'm in there? Oh, okay. Yeah! Oh, wow. okay! Okay! You have some style! I like you! I like where you're going! <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> I figured you'd be the- I figured you'd be the- you'd be the type to rock this kind of look, so, uh... Yeah, and we've got- We've got Doc over here, and we got, uh... Hmm? We got Grace, and we got- What about me? Oh, yeah, I, I'm just drawing you guys and, and uh... Cool clothes. Oh, cool. Uh, I, awesome. I see. Uh. Yes, she has quite a talent for art. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a suit. Thought, I, I don't know. I thought, thought it'd be a change of pace. But, uh, I haven't had cause to wear a suit for quite some time. I gotta say, I never <laughs> thought I'd ever see crosshatching used in that kind of technique before. In that kind of way. <laughs> Lovely. It's just kiss sketches. <laughs> Thank you. I totally wear that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, Percy, you like to draw too, don't you? Yeah, I have a whole sketch pad here. Uh, if you want some time, we can actually take a look and compare drawings. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, that'd be really cool. I'm just, I'm just glad y'all dig it. It's really impressive um, stuff there. <gasps> oh, are you drawing? You're a drawer? Can you draw me? <laughs> hey, Thorne. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, kid. Hey, yeah. Can can you draw me in a pretty dress, the one that goes out like like a, like the poofy one and sparkly and stuff? And he never yeah, lets wanna... me wear any dresses. Yeah, you, you want you want you want you want a you want a big nice nice big ball gown? <laughs> yes. Here, hey, hey, come on, kid. Here, uh, scoot, scoot over right here. Take me. a seat. Take a seat. <gasps> yeah. All right, let's. Uh, you want to go oh, full ruffles with this one? Yes, all of the ruffles. And can you give me those big poofy circle sleeves too? Like Valencia? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, can but I have yeah, a crown little... too? <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta have a crown. Yeah, yeah. obviously. <laughs> obviously you gotta have that crown. <laughs> you know, I will warn you that these poofy sleeves aren't as comfortable as they look. But they you will look stunning in them. Really? Certainly. Of course. Yeah. Everyone never lets me do anything fun like this. Thorin, you sweetie, go, where are you? Oh, there you are! Thorin! Found you! Uh, oh, oh, are you drawing? Are you drawing him? You, you're a wonderful model. I'm not talking to you. Th Thorin, come on. Uh, come on, I, are you still- Okay, listen. Uh, no, uh, I don't want to talk to you! Uh, well, um, remember how I said that you could help me with my work? Yeah, and how great that turned out. Well, I had to set things up first, but you know, now that all the setup is done, uh, you know, you can finally help me. Don't be I'm really sorry for I'm really sorry for jumping off the side that time. It's really nothing personal. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Come on, sweetie, listen. You get to you get to be the one who runs the games this time. <clears throat> really? Yes, really, I promise. 
Mm. It'll be fun. <sighs> fine. Great. All right. So I've got everything all set up on my end. So now all I need is your input, Haley. Oh, oh my gosh, you're <gasps> actually taking my advice. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with your input. Anyway, <laughs> Haley. So, um, it's time for you to meet Kate. So I want you to think real hard. Where would you meet her? What's a place that resonates with you? College. College? If she'd be anywhere, it's at college. Just, just at college. Yeah. All right, I mean, it's not exactly fantastical, but I can work with that. All right, college AU it is. With that, we were off for our first semester at DeMeo Pratt University. Do you get it? Do you get the joke? The acronym would be... <laughs> Never mind, you get it, of course you do. I'm brilliant. As soon as class was in session, Kate introduced herself to the gang. Haley was overjoyed to see her, and the two immediately got to catching up. They were constantly making goo-goo eyes at each other between the game rounds. But there was something off about the whole thing. Kate kept trying to push Haley up, asking her for input on dates, for information on her family, for all sorts of things. No matter what she did, however, Haley kept deflecting, essentially making the story about how great Kate was and little else. Go figure, nothing ever comes easy for me. Since I would be busy focusing on Haley in the story, I turned the game's reins over to Principal Thorin. He was a natural, of course. He took control of the awakened class, plus Twink, who seemed to be some sort of elf who only spoke in monosyllabic yells. Uh, anyway, Thorin assigned the class a simple group project of constructing a baking soda volcano. Unfortunately, four of the group were slackers and saboteurs, so the project was doomed to failure. And Haley didn't take that well. Sweetie, uh, how about you tell them how the, uh, how the volcano went? The volcano exploded in not the good way it got sabotaged! Of course. What did I tell you? Which means, unfortunately, this group project is a bust and all of you fail. Uh, the real lesson here is never get attached. God, well, you guys that... really are not good at this game. Well, yes, that's whenever you stick. I'm not good at anything. Hales, don't say that. Hmm. Haley, I fail at everything. That's not. That's not true. Yes, you know is. that's not true. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna, real quick, uh, let, let me list the people who were the saboteurs real quick. We've got, uh, Junior, Percy, Vincent, and Twink. Oh no, what a surprise! Okay, everyone kinda head out now, uh, we're what just gonna give I the- tell you? We're just gonna give the lovebirds the their things. space, okay? I don't wanna be the principal anymore. It's okay, sweetie, come on. Okay, we're just gonna leave Haley and Kate to their thing. I'm, I'm sure they'll figure it out. Okay, bye. Gonna close the door behind me. Click. As usual, I'm a freaking failure. Haley, you're not a failure. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I mean, did. it was, it was those chocolate nuts that messed everything up, not you. I always mess everything up. Haley. <laughs> Oh, here come the waterworks. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. Haley, I. Haley. I'm so sorry that this happened, but there's there's something else I gotta tell you. Uh, what? I, I I'm not actually sure if I'll be here next semester, or or, or at all. What? 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 what why? I, well, I didn't qualify for financial aid, so I don't know if I'll be able to stick around, you know? The, the 
but no, that's that, that can't be right. I last I checked, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Is, isn't that what I wished for? I'm so sorry, Haley, but this may be my last year here. I I don't know if I'll be able to graduate. No, you can't drop out. What what about your dreams? What what about the promise I made you? What about us? Without you, I'm nothing. <laughs> Kate? Catherine? Katie Pie? I... what? I, I don't... Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Come on, Haley. Uh, sit down. Take a load off. Uh, here, do you want some water? Some tea? Anything? I, what? Where, where's my girlfriend? Where's... Do you want tea? Oh, okay. Great, good, there we go. You comfortable? You good? N no. Great! What the fuck do you think you're doing? Your reflection has been teeing up these easy segues for you, and every time you just change the subject, and then you make it all about her and you turn on the waterworks. What the fuck? I, what? This should have been easy. Everyone else was fighting to hear their story, but you've been fighting to you avoid yours, and you're just crumbling. I don't fucking get it. Listen, the way it's supposed to work is I give you sentences that tailor to you, I give you your girlfriend, I you do this whole big story and you tell your whole thing, and then I'm the one that makes it sad, not you. I have done everything in my power to make this as smooth a transition for you as possible, but you still won't follow the goddamn plot beats. What more is there to say about me? What gonna plot beats when there's no plot? What, what, there's no plot? What are you even saying? Of course there's a plot. We are talking about your story here. What story? What are you talking about? This is it! Once upon a time, there was a freaking pointless sad sack who was dating the most perfect, wonderful girl! She wished for her girlfriend to be happy and to get the money to stay in college because what the hell is even the point of my life anyway? And then suddenly, the perfect girl, who never done nothing wrong in her life, starts going on and on about how her college ain't paid for, and then everything goes dark, and she's nowhere to be found, and now this ketchup colored gremlin is yelling at me. The freaking end. Where's my girlfriend? I... I... She's not here. Of course she's not here, not really. What you see here is a reflection. It's an image of how you see Kate. She's here to help tell your story. Or, okay, well, she was. But then you refused your story so hard you broke the whole scenario. Go figure. This whole arc's been off the rails from the get-go. You've been off the rails from the get-go, actually. You've been a thorn in my side ever since I brought you here. What else is new? Nothing but a nuisance anyway. Yell at me all you want. You can't hurt me any more than I'm feeling now. Wait, that's not what I... Listen, it's no good if you're asking for me to yell. I can't... <sighs> you can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing this. I need you to... <sighs> it's my job to tell your story. And you keep making it seem like there isn't one. Or if it is one, it, it's all about Kate. Isn't that all it is, though? Yeah. That's the problem, isn't it? It's not about Kate, not really. You keep going on and on about how it is, but this isn't her story, Haley. It's yours. <sighs> so I'll tell you what. Me and you, we're gonna bring the lights back. And then you're going to let me tell you the story of Haley. I'm sure by now you've all realized that there's a certain method to my madness. Someone wakes up, they push, I give them their story, I bring them to their knees, then they drag themselves up in some futile push against me. That's just how it is, it's inevitable. But that... that doesn't work when the human is already down. Stories are about progression and Haley just wasn't. So I had to try something different. 
Instead of doing a new scenario, I shifted DMP University into the Legend of Kate, Haley's Awakening. A fun little dungeon crawl with a college AU twist. All Haley had to do was go from building to building on campus, facing the challenges Thorin had devised before turning the lights back on. I thought it was fun, but of course Haley was less than optimistic. Fortunately, she had some help. First came the Gender Studies building, wherein Haley teamed up with Vinny, Valencia, and Twink to take on Gina the Lunch Lady. Gina seemed like a formidable boss, but apparently Valencia reminded Twink of a different princess. And so, after spouting out some very on-point Japanese, he dramatically sacrificed himself to end the fight. Gosh, I wish I'd had subtitles turned on so I could catch whatever he said. After sharing a moment of understanding with a mourning Valencia and bidding her and Vinny farewell, Haley went on to the light switch and the first part of her story. Well, off we go to okay. the light switch, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that's that. So where to next? Ah. Hmm. Okay, that's... that's new. Yes, uh, welcome to scene one. Let's start with the basics. You were born in 1999 in Boston to two loving Taiwanese parents. From a young age, you were a rowdy child, but also quite sweet. The sort who got into tussles in the schoolyard before sharing snacks with the same kids. But childhood ends, and for you that came sooner than it should have. That's... that's my dad. The funeral. He really liked Hyacinth, so we found a bunch and put them on the casket. Do you remember what happened? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I just turned ten. He was on his way back from work with my birthday cake. And never made it back home. He was... He was killed in an accident. He was a drunk driver. In a Corolla. Hmm. That's a young age to lose someone so close to you. I never got over it. It was like... No matter what I did... The color drained from the entire world. The house felt so hollow. It was just me and Mom. She... She never remarried, you know. She busted her ass trying to take care of the two of us, and... I just felt like I was extra baggage for her to lug around. She always told me that wasn't the case, but... But words aren't always enough. wasn't the only one in your life, right? <sighs> of course not. Yeah, Kate, uh, she lived down the street, and, uh, she was... Oh, she didn't live just down the street. You two had so many sleepovers, you might as well have been right next door. You met in kindergarten, and your families were inseparable from that moment on. There were family barbecues, movie outings, days in the park. You and Kate played kickball, you drew together, and of course you played so many video games. She was your best friend. So of course, she was there when things went dark. When you lost your father, Kate was there to help pick up the pieces. She was your comforter, your rock in a tumultuous sea. And it was thanks to that support that you both found a place to be yourselves. Let's take a look. Okay, Haley, you can do this. She's your best friend. She understands you better than anyone else. Here goes. <sighs> hey, Kate! Hey, what's up? What do you need me for? Okay, so uh, I got a little something to say to you. You promise not to think I'm uh, weird? Promise not to get mad? Weird? Oh, come on. You know me better than that. I can take anything. Go on, spit it out. All right. Whew. 
Okay, so, um, I've been maybe sort of thinking about myself and, like, who I really am, and I've kind of sort of discovered that I feel a lot more comfortable, you know, thinking of myself as a girl. Huh. So, um, yeah, uh, Kate, I think I'm trans. I am a girl now. Please call me Haley. Please stay my friend. All right. Hi, Haley. You know, this, uh, this actually really works out. I actually have something to tell you, too. I'm gay. I'm into girls. Huh. Wait, what? Hey, uh, but before I say anything else, um, let me try something. Okay, what's your... This bag is like an endless pit. (laughs) No kidding. Uh, Are you okay? uh, Oh, yeah how to find my makeup kit now you be a good gal and hold still this won't hurt at all actually what at this (laughs) hey hey hey, that tickles oh get used to it chuckle nuts it'll be worth it i promise (laughs) i got my lip oh (laughs) yeah i know it feels a little weird um a little weird i've never (laughs) done this before yeah all right there's your foundation Luckily, the color I have matches your skin pretty good, pretty well. Oh, yeah, so. What kind of look are you going for? Um. You know what would look hot on you? Eyeshadow. Don't flinch. Yeah, yeah. that got in my eye. Oh, well, if you hold still, it wouldn't get in your eye. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeesh, Ugh, this is hard. Ah, uh, don't worry. You get better at holding it with practice. And just a little bit there. Get it on the crease. And done. Hey, look at that. Here's a mirror. First try. Told you I was good at this. Thank you. Thank you. Hold your applause. Wow. Holy crap. I... I feel... I look... (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. There's just a... Couple more things that'll tie the whole look together. <sighs> Catherine Taylor Esselstein, did you just make a titty joke? <laughs> Haley Hong, you have known me for 15 years. How is it have you not picked up on this, you blockhead? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, I'm happy for you, Haley. Hmm. Haley, you picked a good name. <laughs> Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm... I'm glad. And also, I can now say this in good conscience and ask ya. Wanna watch the Red Sox take on the Yankees this weekend? Grandpa Joe got a couple tickets, but he ended up having a rush order he needed to take care of for catering. <laughs> Weddings, am I right? Is, uh... Is this a date? Hell yeah, it's a date, you dingus! You make a really hot girl. All right, let's go and uh, <laughs> bring your jersey. <laughs> <sighs> oh man, that Red Sox game. I mean, the Yankees wiped the floor with them, but that's where I had my first kiss with Kate. They caught us in the kiss cam. It it tasted like cotton candy. Oh, how sweet. Oh god, that was a pun, I just realized. Anyway, I think we got what we came for with this room. What's next on your map? Haley proceeded to the Grayson Music Hall, wherein she encountered Hugo, Grace, and... (sighs) Mr. Gickmillicuddy. Their task was simple. Get their instruments and play a song. But of course, my dear Thorin wasn't going to make it that easy for them, as he sent hordes of living instruments for our heroes to fight through. As always, Haley proved herself indispensable, helping her team through the obstacles and then providing a delightful trumpet solo for our heroes' inspired song. It was exciting, but then of course she went and downplayed her own abilities. Fortunately, the Awakened were there to help set her straight. Well, metaphorically speaking. And after that, I had just the tale to help her kick the habit. Okay, back to the map, and... Oh, 
Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, that's me. It's me in my marching band uniform. <laughs> you know, a uh, band was one of the ac actually one of the few things I really liked about high school. You know, it's a, it's a miracle I didn't get kicked out because of my crap grades. It wasn't that bad, was it? Oh, mm, C minuses? Very bad. Okay, I'll concede I'm not stupid. I, I'm not gonna say I'm stupid. I'm just between thinking about dad or how bad I felt in my body. I just it wasn't good for school. They tried to put you in a neat little box, and they always found a way to fit the square pegs into the round holes. Uh, but I, I was like a an asymmetrical heptagon peg. But Kate. She was basically perfect. Star water polo player, first year viola, straight A student. Well, not straight, but you know what I mean. Yes, Haley, I do know what you mean. Yeah, I could. I could never be like her. I'm surprised. I'm surprised she stuck around, honestly. <laughs> when she moved down a couple neighborhoods, middle school me thought it was the end of the world. <laughs> Imagine that. You know, cars are a thing. And, well, so was high school. Kate helped me keep my grades in the passing range, and I'm pretty sure that without her, I'd have been some know-nothing schmuck. But that, that's not the whole story, is it? You struggled, certainly, but it's not like you never accomplished anything on your own. You were first chair in Wind Ensemble, right? Uh, well, yeah, because my band teacher liked me. I don't know why. From what I understand of humans, usually you don't get first in anything by way of a participation trophy. School may not have agreed with you, but that doesn't mean you don't have skills or talents. You were still drawing every day. You got into weightlifting. I mean, I wanted to improve my self-image. And that says something. After the loss of your father, you said you couldn't see color anymore, but you reached for it anyway. You applied yourself to things you loved, and it paid off. And I don't just mean for your relationship. Let's take a look. In first place, with the score of 86.3, the English High School! Yes! Oh my god! We won! Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Yeah! I'm gonna see yeah. something crazier than that, Haley! Good! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Luke. Hey! Okay. Hey, congratulations! Mwah! Oh, hey, thanks! Thanks so much! You know, I was a nervous wreck down there. <laughs> if you were, I couldn't tell. You sounded so good. I'm so proud of you. Look at you wearing that fancy gold medal. <laughs> <sighs> well, I guess it does feel nice to win at something for a change. For a change? You're kidding me, babe. What about that music festival last semester? What about the time you won the gaming club's the gaming club smash tournament? Hell, I saw you climb a building twice. Okay, okay. Look, that was not climbing a building. That was a series mm -hmm. of acrobatic movements that got me mm -hmm. to the top of a building. There's mm -hmm. a difference. One is very mm -hmm. difficult, and the other is basically impossible. Mm, see, you did the impossible. No, 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 no. See, see, climbing the building is the impossible thing. The parkour mm -hmm. is completely within the realm of my ability. Aha! You admitted something good about yourself. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, screw you. Uh, you're amazing too. Screw me? Screw you. This is your night, Miss First Place with a score of 86.3. Own it. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Tonight, tonight was a good night. Yeah, it was. Come here, sweetie. Oh, uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, crushing water polo hug. Okay, okay, I, yeah, I, see, I see how it is. You're scoring, you're scoring all the points for the high school one for the, for the Eagles for the Eagles team. Okay, you love my all hugs. Right. I do love your hugs, but you know, you love mine too. <laughs> hey, come here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I love you so much. I love you so much too, my big strong champion. <sighs> Boy, were we mushy. You know, I really miss that. But I... 
you know, I guess I deserved it, though. <laughs> First place, the trumpet section celebrated. You know, I played a solo in the close, and they called me a hero. Uh, we had ice cream. Kate came, too, and she got the cotton candy ice cream, you know, her big favorite. And I got a little lick of her ice cream, too. Yeah, it was, it was real nice. After all that, we slept over together and just, we laid there, maybe unwound a little bit. Uh, played a little Pokemon. Uh, I managed to evolve a Carablast into an Escavalier because of that. And, uh, we just talked about how great we both were. <clears throat> yeah. I told her things, but she told me so many things that I didn't think people remembered. Like that art competition I won in middle school. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm embarrassed to look at my middle school art, but who isn't? And that's not to mention the personal achievements, too. She... she told me... <laughs> she told me that uh, I was getting hotter every day, and it shows. You know, and then she felt my arms, and, and then... <laughs> well, you said you had an audience. But yeah, yeah, no, I, I see I've got my good qualities. But... I didn't see that then, did I? No, you didn't. Uh, let's, let's move on to the next building, shall we? Okay. Alright, so, uh, what else we got on the docket? Finally, we came to Haley's last challenge. A little show in the Howard's Arts and Humanities wing. Junior, Percy, and Tommy were there to help her battle a group of living paintings. And by the end, they were all treated to Haley's smile. Haley wasn't the only one who perked up either. Lauren was also delighted to have gotten to play, and I'm glad he was, since he was such an excellent game master. While he headed off back to the kitchen for a snack and a break, I led Haley to the final piece of her story and the end game. And there's the fuse box, perfect. And let me just open that up. <laughs> Got it. And that's the power back on. Perfect. All right. One more thing. There's just one more thing I got to take care of. That map. <sighs> okay. All right. Oh, I see. This is when Kate left. She got accepted into Mount Holyoke, which is all the way in West Mass. That's not far, is it? That's about a hundred miles. I mean, when your grades are crap like mine, <laughs> five colleges might as well be a million miles away. I started to lose hope again that I'd ever see her. Not that we'd even be together. Life's been kicking my ass for nine years now, and why would it stop there? And then she had her dreams crushed too? Because she got that letter saying she hadn't qualified for financial aid. And if she didn't find some way to pay, she'd have to drop out. When she got the letter, she cried in my arms. Her family didn't have that kind of money. And seeing her cry, seeing this perfect shining gal break down in my very arms, I felt hopeless too. Neither of us were going to be happy if I didn't do something. And that's where I came in. And I offered you a wish in exchange for your soul. Yeah. I didn't think much of it. What was my soul worth, anyhow? I'd rather she be living out of dreams, going on to make a per happy, perfect life with no worries. Therein lies the problem. Do you actually think she'd be happier without you? Maybe... Actually... I don't know. Let me show you one last thing. Okay. That should be the last of it. <sighs> yeah. Hey, Haley, thanks for helping me pack up. Hey, yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Oh, hey, uh, I made these cookies for you. You know, for the road. Oh, chocolate chip, my favorite. Thank you. Oh, oh, wow. They're perfect. 
<laughs> well, they got they got they got a caramel center, but like I'm glad you like them. Mm. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> and I don't like them. I love them. And I love you. <laughs> <sighs> uh, hey, Haley. Yeah. You uh you you're right. Y yeah, I'm I'm fine. Hmm. That's not your I'm fine face. Come here. Sit with me. Okay. Are Are you sad that I'm going? Yeah. Was it that obvious? <laughs> <laughs> it's just my grades were never really that good and I was not a high school sports star, so I'm kind of stuck at community college. You're going away all the way to Western Mass, all the way out of reach. Oh, Haley. <laughs> it's just a car ride away. You're welcome to visit any time you want. And I'll come visit you, too. Once I'm allowed to have my own car on campus. <laughs> but what'll I do until then? I, I can't survive without you. Oh, don't say that, Haley. You won't be without me. We have the internet. It's just... I want to be able to do things with my life. And so should you. But I promise you I won't ever let any... I won't ever let you leave my side. No matter the distance between us, we'll never be apart. I... I... I'm sure you have dreams to chase too, right? I don't... What? I don't... I don't know what to do. You'll, you'll be so far away. Oh, Haley. And I'm only in community college. Community college isn't the end all be all, Haley. You're not stuck here. You can transfer out. B but... I, I want to be with you. And I want to be with you too. You know you're the only one for me, right? No one could ever replace you. I... I feel the same way. Truth be told, I'm sad to be going too. I love spending so much time with you, loving you, just enjoying you being around me. I wish I could take you with me, but you have your own life to live too. And I trust you to keep in touch. That's... that's not enough. I know, Haley. I know. Honestly, it's... it's not enough for me either. Then... I'm gonna make you a promise. Uh-huh. <laughs> Haley, we just got out of high school. We can't get married yet. Okay, Jesus freaking Christ, Kate, I know you're excited to, for us to spend our lives together, but that is not what I was gonna say. I don't know, I don't Do keep me in mind, though. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Real talk, real talk. <clears throat> I'm gonna try my best at community college. You helped me a lot in high school, and I'm hoping that I could ride the wave to get all my credits. Once I get all my GEs done with... I'll look into transferring to one of the five colleges so we could be closer together. You know, the dream is Holyoke since you'll be there, but, like, I'll take... I'll take Hampshire or Amherst. Like, honestly, the uh, smaller campus, smaller student body works better for me. I can concentrate better. I'll take any of the five colleges. Just as long as I can be close to you again. So, promise to wait for me? Oh, Haley. Of course I will. I love you with all my heart. Oh, me, me too, Kate. I'll be there for you with open arms. I can't wait. Hey, uh... Study hard, okay? <laughs> oh, look at that! My little Katie cat all grown up and in love! Oh, shall we get a picture for your Facebook? Oh, come on, come on, I'll scooch together, scooch together, you and Haley. This is going to be very, very cute. 
Ah, oh, Grandpa, come on, you're embarrassing us. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 it's cool, it's cool. Katie Cat. <laughs> oh, hey, now, you, don't you start with me, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you a lot. I'll miss you too. Hey, uh, call me, alright? <laughs> alright. <clears throat> wow. That wish... Eh, that was kind of a dick move. Yes. Yes, it was. You know, I guess I hadn't really considered that maybe I was part of a perfect life. You were. You are. Her going to college? Hell, you going to college? That doesn't really matter. I, I mean, in, in context, it's important to you people, I get it. But your lives are so much more than that. The two of you could have found other options. As long as you're alive, there are options. You humans are bizarrely good at reaching for them. And yet... You all keep throwing yourselves on pyres. I don't understand it. Hey, guess what happened? There was a darkness that clouded my eyes, kept me from seeing the value in anything I did, anything I had going for me. As far as I could see, like, my life was nothing but a murky gray. Yeah. Uh, sometimes that's... that's all that makes sense. That's all there is. But... That doesn't actually mean that's all that there is for... for you. <laughs> yeah, that's funny coming from the one who thinks it's weird when we don't want to die in the Mafia stuff. <laughs> that's... that's... that's different. When you're looking at the bigger picture, the colors blur together into the end game. But humans, you... That's not all there is for you. You reach for something different, you find passions where you can, you enjoy holding hands with your girlfriend and stupid video games, and you get to see the clouds part. You get the small things, even if it takes a fight to get to them. You know, you're right. You're right. Man, if Kate was here, she'd, she'd call me a chucklehead and smack me upside the head. Ow! You chucklehead! Schedule. I will give you two your space. Kate? I was so worried. Don't say those things about yourself like that again, Kay. Oh my god. You're back. Yeah, I'm back. I. Oh, Kate! Oh, oh here come the waterworks. Okay, come here. Shh, Haley, it's okay. Okay. I'm here, Kate. I'm here, Hales. I'm here. Kate's here. You were there for me. It's it's only fair that I'm here for you, too. But that... I wasn't there for you. I tried to make your life better, but I didn't think... I didn't think about how taking myself out of the equation would make you feel feel worse. It's, it's okay, Haley. It's okay. I know. I know. Haley. Haley, look at me. Look at me. You know better now, don't you? I... I, I do. Okay, so I'll ask you again. Come on, have a seat. You must be dog-tired. <sighs> okay. So, uh... How have you been? I've... I've been... I've seen better days. I mean, it's not exactly a real piss of being forced to kill people in an endless murder game. <laughs> Can't imagine why. How was your first year at community college? Oh man, it was... it was awful. My grades were in the crap and I just... I was so worried about losing you. Then you got that letter and... Haley, just... Haley, Haley, come on. Deep breaths. I know you've been spending all this time chasing after me, thinking about what I want, what'd make me happy. But 
you didn't even consider yourself. And that's what got you stuck in this murder pit, yes or no? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true. So, think about what you want now. What about you? What is it in your life that would make you happy, babe? Kate, I... I love you. I want nothing more than to be out of this hellhole and back with you. Oh, Haley, I know you love me. And that's all well and good. I love you too. But besides that, what is it that you want for yourself? I'm... I don't... I'm so sorry, Kate. It's really hard for me. It's just, I know that you would... I know that you, this you... This you was abracadabra up by that god, and I don't even know if all the things you say, and I don't know if you're real, I don't know if what you're saying is real, and... Haley, Haley, listen to me. I don't know what you're thinking right <clears throat> now, but even if I am some kind of abracadabra apparition, you knew me for how long now? You know me better than anyone else, yeah? I am the realest this place can manage. I might as well be standing next to you right now. I... I guess so. I, I just... I miss you. Listen, even if I ain't the real McCoy, so to speak, I'd still say the real Kate misses you too. And I'd also say that she'd want you to fulfill your dreams. <sighs> okay. If you say so. Haley! Oh. I don't want you to drink because oh. I told you to. Drink for yourself, you blockhead. Come on, tell me what is it. Tell me what you want for your life. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop shaking me. Okay. Okay. I, what I want with my life. Mm. I, all I love music and art, and I yeah. never really wanted anything huge. I honestly didn't expect to make it to my 20s. Maybe I'll join a jazz combo, play gigs. See? You want to play giant steps? That's already a giant step forward. Keep them coming, Hales. Okay, uh, let's see. Drawing? Drawing. Uh, uh, drawing. Uh, it's fashion. I, I like fashion. Okay, see, now we're getting somewhere. Get specific. Come on, wear your heart on your sleeve. I... I... I want to design a clothing line. Come on, dream big. You want to design a clothing line? Take it all the way to the runway. Life ain't long enough to think small time. Give me some more. Oh, you remember what you told me at my graduation? I told you, I... I mentioned that I wanted to be a model. <laughs> yeah, you did. And uh, you certainly got the bod for it. I saw firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> I didn't think it'd come true. Hey! Stop it! Stop it! Stop, stop smacking me! Then quit putting yourself down! Chuckle nuts! You're so kind and sweet and wonderful and talented and beautiful and I think I know you can figure this out I promise I'll be there for you every step of the way it's one thing to plant the seeds of life but you gotta care for all it shoots what do you see yourself doing I guess I'll model for my own clothing line I'll be yeah. happy enough with myself <laughs> that I can strut my stuff no problem and maybe, maybe one day, you will be wearing something I designed. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. See, Hales, you got dreams. So what are you standing around here for? You got lots of your own junk to live for. Uh, uh, not to say that your ideas are junk. You know as well as I do how much I support you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Hey, Kate. Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to make you a new promise. I'll get out of this two-bit dump. I ain't letting our first promise fade away. And we're both going to be happy, alright? You study hard, and when I blow this popsicle stand, I'll make sure to study hard too. Bump up my grades, and I'll see you on the campus of Mount Holyoke. And I... You'll be seeing me playing jazz. And you better take a video. <laughs> oh, Haley. I'll... I'll be waiting. And once all that's done, I'm gonna give you a big ol' one of these. 
<laughs> Save the good ones for the real me. All right, Hales. You bet I will, Katie Pie. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I know you gotta go now. Yeah. I'll see you later, Allocator. <laughs> After a while, Haley Dial. So, now what? Well, I, I guess we finished the story. Which means you have a decision to make. Oh, okay, okay. Is that like that whole thing where, like, you know, Soldier Boy is getting all the peeps together, but, like, everybody already lost because Ankle Bite is busy biting your ankle? Yes, and that the, decision. What, so, so I'm going to need you to... Okay, think. well... Okay, so I know because of the ankle bite, a half the labaya bite ain't gonna be happening for a while, and that's a euphemism. Yes, Haley, I understand that's a euphemism. Anyways, I did promise Kate that I'd be back. So, uh, I am gonna have to say that I'm sticking with Soldier Boy for this one. Even knowing this won't be a happy ending? All wishes go sour in the end, and yours is no exception. You made that wish with the intent of losing your life. And that means either when you leave, you die, and Kate gets her tuition, or you cling to life, and that money comes from a darker place. <sighs> That's gotta be the way it is, so be it. If something happens to the money, well, it was already blood money anyhow. But for Kate, that is checking the world could never replace me. We'll figure it out. But I ain't about to let Kate have an unhappy ending either. So yes, MG. I'm sorry, what did you just call me? My princess is in another castle. But Mario always saves the day in the end, no matter what it takes. And I will be by Kate's side. All the same. <sighs> the knight promises to fight her way back to her princess. I suppose that's all I could have expected. All right, that's poetic enough. Hmm. So, uh, is that it? Um, yeah, I, I guess that's it. Oh, fuck. Usually my endings go a lot different. Yeah, I mean, like, granted, I cried, I cried at least once, like, like yes, Soldier yes. Boy said, but like, Look, usually the getting way pissed more off. Than once. Like, listen, you were okay, the one that like, cried. It was at least three times. Yeah, you it was cried like a lot. at least three times. Mm -hmm. But like, usually they're getting, according to the others, usually they're getting pissed off at you. Thing comes at the end yes, when they're all yes, like, oh, you... "I'm gonna fight you" and all that. Uh... Yes, you you went entirely out of order. I I don't know what to call this. I thought at the very least you'd be more upset about the wish thing. I mean, hey, it's a hundred coins for a one-up, right? And, you know, I'll concede for what it's worth. You did kinda sorta maybe help me, well, find me. Wait, what? I didn't... <laughs> no, 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 that's not what happened. You kept ref refusing your story, and then you kept bringing up all the bad parts, so I had to balance things out. That's all uh -huh. that, that was. It's not a good yeah, story without uh -huh. push and pull, so I had to be the uh -huh. one to pull because you were fucking pushing. Right, right, uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. Listen, uh -huh. I did this ending is bittersweet, okay? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'll take it. Whatever you say. Either way, thanks. A lot. You know? Maybe you don't suck so bad. I... You shouldn't... You know what? G get back to the lounge. You're welcome. 
All right, all right, listen. I know what you're thinking, but it's not like I've gone soft or anything, okay? It's just... <sighs> Haley was a weird situation, that's all. There, there has to be balance. There has to be a good story, and... And I mean, Twink died, the wish is still bittersweet, so it's still tragic, right? Everything's still on track, right? Right? <laughs>